New amusement and theme parks are rarely built. The expenses, heavy capital investment, and the fact that only a few large players own most of the market make it a hard business to get into. However, in the latter half of the 2000s decade, a group of investors would partner with Hard Rock International to build one of the quickest and largest failures in the theme park and entertainment industry. This is Hard Rock Park, an epic failure. Hard Rock Park was conceived in 2006 as a planned rock and roll themed amusement park in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Its rock-themed rides, attractions, and shows were expected to be a draw to the many tourists that the area receives each year. Being built throughout 2007, the park was a $225 million investment, featuring five roller coasters and over 50 attractions overall. Its construction was even featured in an episode of the Discovery Channel series Mega Builders. The park opened in 2008 featuring various rock-themed rides, such as its Led Zeppelin roller coaster and Moody Blues 3D ride. Shows were also a large part of the park throughout. The park, though well received upon opening, was opening when the peak of the Great Recession was occurring. A combination of low attendance, lack of a credit line, and investment led the park to ending its first season early and filing for bankruptcy after only this first season. The park was then sold in the off-season for only $25 million, just over one-tenth the cost that it took to build it. The park would be renamed Freestyle Music Park and was geared toward multiple genres of music than just rock. This version of the park would operate for just one season as well, and lawsuits and issues with investors would see to its end. Some rides were sold and moved to other amusement parks, and eventually the land was sold in 2019 for about $3.5 million. Today what's left sits abandoned, so why did this amusement park fail so badly? Well, the easy answer would be the timing of its opening coinciding with the recession. However, there's more to it than that. Opening an amusement park is a very difficult investment, and the industry itself in America is heavily controlled by companies such as Cedar Fair, Six Flags, Disney, and Universal. Branding a park with a company that had no experience in amusement parks was a bad start, and choosing to make it geared towards vacationers was also a bad idea. People typically go on vacation to amusement parks because they have something unique that you can't get anywhere else, like Disney World, or some of the tallest and fastest rides in the world, like at Cedar Point. This had neither. People go to Myrtle Beach for the beach, not for an amusement park that would be relatively similar to something they could find closer to home, and the lack of success reflected that. Also, choosing a theme in rock and roll that was well past its prime by 2008 was also a poor choice. Now I will show you via Google Maps what the site looks like today. So here we have Hard Rock Park, or what's left of it. You can see that the property was pretty large, and what you have here is the back end where the employee lot, I believe, would have been. And you have this big building here, I assume that was for the shows and you just have all these roads and stuff and there's the front parking lot obviously really big and expected a lot of people to come here and what you have here is the main entrance way that you might have seen in some of the pictures and you have all these abandoned structures walkways roads and just all for two years this was only here for two years and you just have these beams here support structures for the roller coasters and such and you can just see here abandoned building after abandoned building and this park reminds me a lot of Jogga Lake which was another abandoned amusement park it's got the big lake in the middle with the big boardwalk which is exactly like what Jogga Lake was and it's got the abandoned roller coaster supports some of them were in the lake just like Jogga Lake and you just have this big white elephant basically of a park that just did not succeed and failed very quickly and it's just sad to see such a large property and large investment go to waste so that was hard rock park and i thank you for watching